Let me just start off by saying it's been far too long since I last made a video. There really isn't a good reason why it's been so long. I just haven't been in the mood of making videos lately. But I think that's going to change in 2018. I made a New Year's resolution to be more productive in 2018. And not particularly to this channel, but as a person in general. Because honestly, this is novel series I'm trying to write on Wattpad. I'm going to talk about it in the description of the video because I don't want to get really off topic right now. I really don't want to get off topic on the stage of this video, but I will talk about my novel series in the description. And, you know, I plan on doing more chapters of that. And I really want to get a job soon because I've been applying to certain places, but it hasn't been happening yet. And I'm really trying to get us into this college and stuff and blah, blah, blah. I'll talk about my life in the description. But for now, let's talk about Devil May Cry, baby. Now, Devil May Cry Baby is an adaptation, and I use that term lightly, of the original 1970s manga of the same name, um, by written by Go Nagai. Now, Go Nagai is a famous mangaka. He has written a lot of works like Devil Man, Mazinger, Cutie Honey, Keiko Common, and stuff like that. He's best known for his perverted sense of humor. He does a lot of um, sex, gore, violence. Those are like in all of his works, pretty much. He's really well known for that type of stuff. But onto the actual Double Man Cry Baby. Double Man Cry Baby is about Akira Fudo. He starts off as a timid, gentle boy. He's on the track team with his crush, Mickey. And like he lives with Mickey. He's adopted because Akira got adopted by this Christian family, even though they're in Japan. But his parents are still alive. Well, at least in the first few episodes. His parents are still alive. So he lives with Miki. They're both on the track team. He has a crush on Miki. She's pretty much the girl next door. She's really pretty, smart. She's amazing. She's a great person. All the guys think she's attractive. They kind of love her and stuff like that. And basically, Akira's old friend, Ryo, shows up one day. Now, Ryo, he he's pretty much the griffin of this series. He's like the sociopath. He's, he's just a guy who thinks what he's doing is going to benefit humanity somehow, even though it's really great. So he believes that demons are coming into the human world or whatever. And, you know, there needs to be a double man in order to combat this, this demons, these evil beings. So, and the only way to bring about devils is, to, is like human depravity. They need human depravity to feed off this negativity and they come out when that happens. So Ryo takes Akira to this like on the ground bar or whatever. Um, there's a lot of topless women, like people, like strippers dancing. I mean, like they having sex, there's violence, a lot of this human depravity. And this is what attracts the demons. Ryo just cracks open the alcohol bottle and just starts slashing people apart he just starts slashing people like a sociopath and that's what attracts the demons these demons just show up and start killing people and the way the demons work is like they possess people and then go kill other people then um akira gets possessed by the king of demons himself i'm um amon but He's a devil man. A devil man is a being that's able to become a devil but still maintain a human heart. And it's because of this that Akira fights against, um, fights against the evil demons. That's pretty much the premise of the entire series. But there's a lot more to the show than that. And it's like, oh my god. It's so dark but in a mature way. It's, oh my god, it's insane. It's insane. I'll say that. It's insane. I will say is also very, very, very hypersexualized. Like, Go Not Guy works are usually already sexual, but they took it up to 11 with this anime. In every episode, this topless woman, woman in sex, like, just sex and woman gore, violence, every freaking episode. <laughs> it's insane. There's even a gay sex scene in the opening of episode six, and that's like, that, that, oh my god, that scene was more explicit than some Yaoi anime. Um, like, wow, that was crazy. That was definitely crazy. This whole show was just messed up, but in a good way. But it's also very tragic. This is also very tragic. Oh my god, I don't even know where to begin when I talk about it. Oh my god. Basically, what Golden Guy was trying to portray with Double Man was his anti-war theme about how 
war there's never really any good justifications for war and it's just like pointless violence and it just leads to death and more death and as a pacifist i do agree heavily with that statement and you can see it in here like th i feel that devil is the social commentary of humanity because when the devils come out oh by the way there will be a lot of spoilers because it's just too much to talk about not to have spoilers when the devils come out like people get paranoid you start blaming they start assuming everyone's a demon you start killing each other they start killing the innocent people because they just believe they're a demon and rio is the one he starts like he kind of starts this in a sense because like there was this other devil man who was a runner i'm not gonna bother to remember his name because he was an asshole and stuff he he um gave the guy some drink that turned into a demon that locked his double man for him and he started killing a bunch of people because he couldn't control himself and rio just made it like he put that on public tv he's like yeah the other devil man in the world we need to eradicate all demons and blah 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 and he betrayed akira and so the world wants akira dead for something he didn't even do he people think he's evil because he's a devil man but he's really not evil and it just shows a human depravity the human prejudice humans like to kill destroy they, they hate anything they don't understand they're paranoid beings they like being in power and it's just crazy and some of the demons have more humanity than the humans themselves like it's just like a non-stop roller coaster ride and here comes the biggest spoiler of all, that everyone in this show dies except for Ryo, who's revealed to be a hermaphrodite Satan. And it's crazy. I know this review isn't structured. It's just, just my opinion of this show because I really need to talk about this. I just love this anime so much. I gave it like a 9 out of 10 on my anime list. If I had a friend who could come over and watch this with me, I would definitely watch the entire thing. I saw this entire show in two days. It was great. It's on Netflix. Go watch it. It's an English dub. Oh, God. And I really love the animation in it. The animation was great. It was, I, I forgot the director's name, but he's really known for abstract, um, minimalistic in terms of design, in terms of detail, animation. And it was just wild. It was great. The characters were really fleshed out. They were easy to connect to. Uh, and Riel's the type of villain you kind of love to hate. Because I really hate villains who think what they're doing is right and what they're doing will benefit humanity, even though it's obviously evil. Like, Rio is definitely an asshole. He's a Griffith of Double Man. Akira himself, he was a cool character. He, like, when he turned to Double Man, he turned into this bold, confident guy. He was perverted. Like, the, one of the most notable scenes was when he was watching a porno in, like, the school's auditorium on this big screen. It was like, wow, are you kidding me? <laughs> that was pretty just bold. It was like really cool. Mickey, you know, all these characters were great. I recommend you watch Delamant if you want a dark, mature anime to watch. It has deep messages. It's really, I feel like this is the anime of 2018 already. From alone, I know there will not be an anime I will enjoy more this year. And that's mainly because the production has decided not to make a Golden Wind anime. I have no idea why they're taking so long just to announce Golden Wind. JoJo is their biggest money maker, and if it wasn't for JoJo, David production would be completely irrelevant. So you would think they would be wanting to adapt their money maker by now. But that's pretty much all I have to say about Devil Man. It's it's an amazing anime. Go check it out. Go read the original manga. Go read other Golden Guy manga. This anime was great. It's amazing. I might make a review of it on my anime list and put a link in the description eventually. It's really amazing. So please check this out.